Hi, I'm Reggie from Stupid Raisins. In this video, I will show you how to play video backwards using keyboard shortcuts, using viewers rewind and reverse, how to play backwards slowly, and how to make a replay. So let's get it on! Okay, let's start with the first method. So we now have our clips on our timeline. So to play your clip on your timeline, just hit spacebar. Okay. Okay. So to play backwards, you just have to hit J. So it will play in backwards and then if you want to play backwards quickly just hit J two times one two okay and then you can also make it a little bit faster just hit J triple times so one two three okay and then you can also make it more faster just hit J four times but it's so fast as you can see your clip okay and by the way if you hit j to play your clip backwards you can just hit k to pause k and spacebar are the same but k is for pause spacebar is for play and pause okay and then if you want to play it forward just hit l and then double l to make it faster and then triple l to make it more faster okay and then you can also play your clip backwards by hitting shift and spacebar you need to hold shift and then spacebar okay that's how you play backwards and spacebar to make it forward okay okay now let's go to the second clip and then i'm gonna hit spacebar to play the clip okay and then you can also play it backwards by holding left arrow to go backwards playing the clip frame by frame okay and then you can also hold right arrow to play forward slowly okay place it frame by frame so that's how you play backwards without the sound so let's go to our clip that has a sound i'm gonna hit space bar if this video has been helpful to you go ahead and hit that okay it has a sound then you can see we have a waveform right here and then if i hold left arrow there's no sound and then if i hit shift and space bar there's a sound but it plays it backwards in normal speed so to play your clip backwards with sound just hit k you need to hold k and then j so you're holding both keys j and k okay so i'm gonna hold k and then j to move backwards so it plays in backwards slowly but if you want to play it forwards slowly just hit k and then l if this video has been helpful to you go ahead and hit. okay while holding both two keys and then to permanently reverse your clip you can select your clip and then go to menu and then go to modify and then go to retime and then reverse clip so i'm gonna hit space bar from the start it's playing backwards so this is a permanent modification okay okay now let's go to our second clip gonna hit space bar to see our clip okay okay Just select your clip on your timeline and go to this retiming options button right here and then click reverse clip so i'm gonna go to the first frame i'm gonna hit space bar so this is the video in backwards okay there's also a keyboard shortcut just hit Control option r so it will bring you to the custom speed and then just hit reverse and then select your timeline okay so i'm gonna hit space bar okay and then if you want to reset the speed of your clip just select your clip on your timeline and then hit option command r so it will reset your clip to normal speed okay so I'm gonna select these clips right here and then I'm gonna hit option command R okay so everything is back to normal and then you can also make your clip in reverse by clicking this R right here and then go to custom and then select reverse then select your clip on your timeline to hide the custom speed okay so we have now a reverse clip okay, okay. 
Now for the next method, I'm gonna go to our first clip and then I'm gonna hit Command R to hide our retime editor. Okay, I'm gonna select this clip as well and then hit Command R. Okay, this one and then I'm gonna reset this clip. Option Command R. Okay, and then Command R to hide the retime editor. Okay, now let's select our first clip. So you can also make a rewind effect. Just go to your retiming options button right here and then scroll down and then go to rewind. So we have 1x, 2x, and then 4x. So 1x is 100%, 2x is 200%, and then 4x is 400%. That's the speed, okay? Okay, let's select 2x. So what it does is this, it duplicates this our clip and then it makes it reverse and then duplicates it again into normal speed okay so we've selected 2x that's why it says negative 201 percent so it, it's not at 200 percent because our clip is shut up so to see the frame rate just click this info inspector right here 25 frames per second so our project is 23.98 so just don't mind that but whenever you are importing a clip to your project be sure your project is the same as your clip frame rate okay so we don't have inconsistency with our speed okay and then let's go back so as you can see this is a connected clip this is not a separate clip if I hide a retime editor by hitting command R this is a one connected clip okay and then if I hit command R again you can see the rewind effect right here you can also change the speed by dragging this handle right here this black line you can drag it to the right to make it slower or drag into the left to make it more faster okay so let's hit spacebar to see it okay so it creates a rewind effect okay okay so i'm gonna reset our clip by hitting option command r okay you can also use the range tool to make a rewind just hit r to go to range tool and then let's select where to rewind let's rewind at this part right here so once you've selected the range just go to retime options editor and then go to rewind and then hit 2x or any speed you want okay so i'm gonna hit spacebar rewinds and then repeats that moment or range okay and then place back to normal okay okay if this video has been helpful to you go ahead and hit that like button i would really appreciate it so let's go to our second clip so just select this clip and then go to retiming options and then go to instant replay so you have your 100x 50x 25x and 10x let's select 50 percent so what it does, it duplicates the clip, this whole clip, and then it makes it slow. We have selected a while ago is 50% and then it creates an upper third. So it creates upper third right here. It says instant replay and you can also customize it. Just select this upper clip right here and then go to title inspector and then you can add build in and out and you can also change the font. You can also change the size and the color. But unfortunately, you cannot change the color of this box, only the text. Okay? Okay. By the way, the instant replay effect is a one connected clip. If I hit Command R again to hide the retime editor. So this is a connected clip. This is not a separate clip. Okay? I'm gonna hit Command R to show a retime editor. Okay. So I'm gonna reset our clip. I'm gonna hit Command Option R. I'm gonna select upper third. Then hit backspace okay you can also use the range tool tool by hitting r and then selecting the range so let's make a replay of this kickflip okay like right here there you go and then after selecting your range go to your retiming options and then go to instant replay and then let's make it 50 percent so if you use the range tool it duplicates the range you want and then it plays at 50 percent or what speed you selected a while ago and then it goes back to normal okay so let's see our clip i'm gonna hit spacebar nice right so this is much better than the previous one so let's go back to our first clip so i'm gonna hit command option r to reset our clip so you can also play it backwards in slow motion just go to custom speed so you have two ways to go to custom speed control option r or you can select this r right here and then custom 
okay and then if you want to make a clip in reverse in slow motion just make it reverse and then change your rate lower than 100 percent so let's make it 80 percent so as you can see it says reverse slow okay and then i'm gonna hit on my timeline so it hides the custom speed then i'm gonna hit space bar so this is the backwards in slow motion okay so there you have it thank you for watching and i hope you learned something today if you want to learn more i've made a video about how to slow down a video in final cut pro click here to check it out